This week, the Northern Hemisphere experienced the longest day of the year. The summer solstice is a phenomenon that happens not because of Earth's distance from the sun, but because of Earth's tilt toward the sun. NASA's Alex Young says that solar scientists welcome the annual lean. Depending on the wavelength of light, we can see different features on the sun. We see huge structures in the solar atmosphere. We can see big explosions, things called solar flares or coronal mass ejections. And that's why we like to look at it in all these different wavelengths, because we get a much more complete picture of what's going on in the sun. Young says studying the sun helps scientists understand solar phenomena that affect our lives, like solar winds and coronal mass ejections, which he calls huge burps of solar material. These burps can disturb communication networks on Earth while creating hazardous conditions for astronauts in space. NASA currently has two research craft flying close to the sun. Since ancient times, the summer solstice has been an annual highlight observed by British pagans and druids. In other news, do you ever get the feeling you're being watched? For all the missions Earthlings have flown into space and the countless telescopes on our planet pointing up, scientists say there's a good chance the telescopes from other worlds are pointing back at us. Cornell University's Lisa Kaltenegger says there's little we can do to change our privacy settings. Hiding is not really an option as long as you have oxygen in the atmosphere. So whether you send a signal or not, they will be clear that there's life on this planet if they have the same knowledge we do, right? And I assume, again, if you're worried about something, somebody coming and eating you, you're worried about a technological advanced civilization who could travel that distance. Astronomers recently found stars in our galaxy where someone looking for Earth could find it. To do this, they reverse-engineered a technique for stargazing to instead look back at our home planet. Astronomers calculated more than 1,700 stars in our neighborhood and the hundreds of probable Earth-like planets around them have an unobstructed view of Earth. And while the late Stephen Hawking warned of making contact with aliens as they could harm us, Kaltenegger says she's not worried. Honestly, when I look up at the sky, it just looks a little bit friendlier because it's like, ooh, maybe somebody is waving. We just don't know yet. Finally, I have this open great work tomorrow. And Shane, you guys go be amazing. We'll see you in a few hours. Remember, you are butterflies with biceps today. <laughs> and so began this week's mission outside the International Space Station for NASA astronaut Shane Kimbrough and ESA astronaut Tomas Pesquet. The two reprised their roles as electrical engineers when they finished installing and unfurling an updated solar panel on Wednesday. The upgrades are expected to boost power output on the station ahead of visits later this year from paying passengers and film crews. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.